welcome to today's video. I have a special guest here. Say hi, Geraldine. Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Geraldine has been so graceful and agreed to be my model in today's video. Geraldine is the mother to Paul's cousin's husband, so I don't know what that would make you to me. Ah, uh, your aunt. My aunt? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Geraldine is so much fun and I think you guys are really going to enjoy this video. I'm going to give you guys tips and tricks on how I achieved Geraldine's makeup today. Um, Geraldine, you are 71? 71. 71. Mm -hmm. In our Beauty Chit Chat Facebook group page, one of the highly requested videos was for me to do makeup on someone um, 60 and I thought Geraldine was 60. Oh, <laughs> that's sweet. <laughs> <laughs> She's absolutely beautiful and stunning and as I'm doing her eye makeup, she has the most gorgeous, beautiful, full lids to work with. So a lot of the tips and tricks that I give for like hooded eyes, I couldn't really give the, I couldn't, it didn't really apply to Geraldine. She was a dream to work on. So, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay. So I'm going to start with the Jane Iridol's liquid makeup, liquid mineral makeup. And this is pretty much like a primer. This doesn't really offer any coverage to the skin. It's just going to give the slightest glow and kind of, um, just kind of give the skin a little bit of a brightness, but it's not really going to cover anything. So I'm just gonna kind of sweep this across the skin really sheerly. Geraldine, you have pretty skin. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. It's amazing seeing I'm Australian. <laughs> oh, because you're out in the sun a lot yeah. when you grew up? When did you- Got lots of freckles. <laughs> when did you leave Australia? When I was 21 years old, mm -hmm. 50 years ago. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> you miss it? Yeah. Yeah. I miss the, you know, the way of life and the people, but all my kids are in the north, so what yeah. am I going to do? Yeah. <laughs> I want to go to Australia. That seems like a, that's like on my bucket list. You'd love it. Yeah. And so it's every part of Australia is beautiful as I imagine or I see. Yes. Yes. I even went last time I, well, not last time, but I've recently, uh, when I turned 70, I hiked around Uluru, Ayers Rock, after I took a train trip all the way around. It was beautiful, but very different. Everywhere's different from each other. Well, I grew up in Sydney. Okay. And so I went swimming in the ocean every day. Oh, that's nice. Isn't that nice? Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> okay, so for foundation, let me see what I'm going to do on you. So that was primer. Yeah, that's like a, it's, I use it as a primer. It doesn't really offer much coverage, but it has, it's mineral makeup. It's really good for the skin and it just gives like the slightest glow. So it gives the skin a, underneath your foundation, it just gives the like slightest luminosity. Oh, okay. So for foundation, I'm going to use the Face Atelier. This is one of my favorite foundations. I rave about this all the time. And I'm going to try shade six, but these are pretty flexible shades. So I might actually mix a little bit of the shade four in with it and see where we go, just because I don't have a, a shade five. Now I'm going to start in the center of your face. I did make sure that Geraldine's skin was really hydrated. We used the Colleen Rothschild Extreme Recovery Cream first. I had her apply that. And then we kind of started with foundation pretty quickly so I could still feel the moisturizer on the skin. Now I'm just kind of pressing in the center of her face just to get good coverage from the foundation and then I'm going to softly kind of shear that out and blend it out. Geraldine has really pretty skin. You don't really need a lot of coverage at all, I don't think. I mean, I really feel like the foundation is to even your skin tone out, but there's not really any dark sunspots or I don't feel like there's a lot of discoloration or anything that we're covering. We're just kind of evening things out. Geraldine, what do you use on your skin? Like not necessarily the brand, but like, do you use like in terms of eye cream, cleanser, face cream? Retin? I cleanse my face with an oily cleanser because with age it's become, my skin's become much drier. Mm -hmm. And then I uh, put night cream on and I put eye cream on, I mean, it's a mess. I put eye cream on and sometimes, I, if I remember, I put an oil underneath so it all soaks in overnight. Mm -hmm. And the cream that you use, is it in a jar? Is it real rich? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. It doesn't matter now how much glop I put on my face. It <laughs> drinks it in like, <laughs> like, really like a desert. <laughs> <laughs> I've started using Retin-A over the last two weeks and my skin has gotten really dry. It's the yeah. same thing. I put anything I put on, it just absorbs it so fast. It's interesting to know what happened. I used to wear Retin-A when I was in my 20s. Can you me? And why'd you stop? 
Gott sei Dank. Ja. <lacht> Do you use any retinol or any... No. no? I Just, should, shouldn't I? No. No, you've got great skin. That's why I'm asking. Well, you know, I had... Um, a lot of my viewers are older. And uh -huh. one of the most requested videos was to do someone that's 60. And oh, I asked Anna Laura. How sweet. I asked Anna Laura. I texted her and I said... I asked her if I, if I could get your number because I wanted... And, sh and so I didn't believe you were 70. One. 70, nearly 72, <laughs> kiddo. <laughs> and I enjoy it every year. <laughs> so I like to do really sheer layers. So I take my time. I really take my time on skin with foundation. That's um, great. Yes. When I, when I used to do makeup, I would always have to tell people, I know it seems like I'm putting a lot of makeup on you, but I'm really not. I'm just taking my time, blending it out, shearing it out. Um, I want it to really... I want the makeup to become one with your skin. I don't want people to see any harsh lines. I don't want any buildup. I don't want it to settle in pores or fine lines or any of that. So I really take my time shearing it out. I think that's great. And I try and use foundation only where I need it. So I don't really necessarily apply it everywhere. I'll start in the center of the face and then I'll just work it out. Mm -hmm. um, and then the key is blending it so well that in the areas that you really didn't apply much makeup where you did just seamlessly blends into the uh -huh. areas. Okay, so for concealer, what type of concealer are you using right now? Is it like a liquid or is it a stick? Is it a thicker cream? I don't. You don't use a concealer? You just use your foundation under there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I do have actually um, sometimes under my eyes, mm -hmm. um, it gets darker. And if I'm going out at night, I put uh, another. It's a tube. Okay. That I put under here, and then, but I'm always nervous it'll look like I'll look like a, a raccoon. Oh, so, you don't like it too light, yeah. No. Yeah, so you just have to make sure you get the right um, shade. You don't want anything too light. Well, that looks really pretty on your skin. I think it looks very nice. Mm -hmm. So for your under eye, okay. So her under eye still feels really um, supple from the eye or the cream that you used. Which is good. If it felt really dry, I would probably go in and put a little bit of a face oil there, but I don't feel like I need to. So what I'm using is I'm using the Cover Effects Power Play Concealer. I'm using this concealer and I'm using the shade Medium 1. And I applied it on my hand, but I'm really, I just grabbed a little bit with my brush, but then I'm even kind of blotting my brush off so I don't apply too much concealer under her eyes. I really want to just apply a little bit to cancel out that darkness and brighten it up, but I don't want to apply so much that it's going to move around or crease or just be too heavy. So I'm going to keep it really light. I'm actually looking in the camera, so I just want to compare the two sides so you can see what that does. So do you have a pretty good routine every week? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do. And uh, I work out five times a week and I That's great. do remedial reading for little um, sp uh, native Spanish speakers. Who oh, come. really? Yeah. That's cute. They're so cute. I'm going to take a beauty blender. Now you look up. And I'm just going to kind of press. After I've applied the concealer, I'm just going to do this step to press out any excess and the sponge will absorb any excess concealer that I've applied so it will kind of eliminate creasing. Now, do you ever use powder to set your makeup? Sometimes, Sometimes yes. Yeah. When I've really want to look good for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and apply a little blush first and then I'm going to powder. And the reason I'm doing that is because I'm going to use a cream blush. This is by Wander Beauty. This is their um, On The Glow blush and it has a blush on one side and then on the other side it has a highlighting product, which I'm not quite sure yet if I'm going to use this or not. We will see. So I'm going to have you smile. Now I'm just going to kind of apply the stick right here on the apples of your cheek. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to blend it out with the foundation brush. I really like this product a lot. It gives a really natural kind of flush to the cheeks without looking overdone. And it's, since it's a cream, it has a really like nice um, hydrated look. It doesn't look flat or matte. So I'm going to add a little bit more, but I'm just going to go in with my brush and onto the product. And I'm going to just kind of bounce this on her cheeks and then kind of pull it down a little bit. Now to set her foundation, I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder and I'm going to use a big fluffy soft brush. I'm going to use this brush by MAC. It's just a soft fluffy uh, brush. The fibers are really long and loose so it's not going to pick up a lot of product. I'm going to pick it up on my brush but then I'm going to go ahead and blot it on my hand just so that I don't use too much product. 
And I'm just going to kind of lightly set the center of her face, a little bit under her eyes. This is a nice loose powder because it has the like most fine light reflective particles to it. It's not shimmery, but it is going to reflect light and just kind of give the skin a bright glow without looking dewy. Okay, perfect. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and move on to your brows. So for her brows, I'm going to use the Benefit Gimme Brow Volumizing Brow Gel. So this is basically going to give a little bit of color to your brows and add a little bit of volume, but it's going to look very natural. It's not going to look, your brows won't look drawn in or anything. Mm. So do you see the difference between the two brows? You can see that this one is a little deeper, <clears throat> a little bit more filled in, but it still has the natural shape of this brow. And when you do your eye makeup, how do you typically do your eye makeup? Like, do you do a lighter on the lid? Uh, it depends. I I I have uh, two color schemes that I like at the moment. One is a pale beigey color on the lid, and then on the side there's um, a, a chocolate brown. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not heavy though. Mm -hmm. And then the other is a like a copper on the lid and um, a purple. Mm. purple grapey color on the side just oh, that's pretty yeah, yeah it's it's yeah. really nice it probably brings out a lot of the green in your yeah. eyes mm -hmm. now do you ever use a primer on your lid first something to keep your shadow on yes yes i like to hear that i like that a lot <laughs> but i bring it up to my brows yes that's yeah. good so to start her eye makeup i'm going to use the revlon color stay eyeshadow primer and i really like this one because it is pretty sheer go ahead and close Pretty sheer, but it has a slight bit of brightness to it. Geraldine doesn't have dark eyelids, but a lot of us have darker lids. It kind of mimics the shade underneath our eyes, and this will help kind of brighten that, but hers are nice and bright already. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna spread this all the way from the lash line to the brow. I also like this because it's a very thin product and it doesn't have any shimmer to it. So it is just going to, um, really just give a nice, very thin layer, especially on the eyes when we're layering product and we're using multiple products. We want to make sure that we're using very thin little bitty layers because the eyes on the lids and then around the eye areas where we tend to show the most texture in the skin with aging. You know, that's where we start to see the most fine lines and all of that. And you really, the more, I mean, it's, and it goes with anything, whether it's eye makeup or foundation, but the more makeup you put, the more you're going to magnify any texture on the skin, whether that's fine lines, wrinkles, acne scars, large pores, any of that. Okay, so I'm going to start and let me see what palette we're going to work with. Okay, so I think we're going to work with the Tartlet Toasted Palette, which is a very warm palette. It's got a lot of mix of uh, warm matte shades and shimmer shades. I might dip into a few others here, but I think we'll, we'll have what we need here. And I'm going to start by dusting this color here, this like kind of cream, um, like ivory color. It's matte all over her lid from lashes to her brow. And this is just going to kind of set that eyeshadow primer just to give a nice soft finish to any shadows I apply on top of it. So by doing this first, basically any shadow that I apply on top of it, it's going to make all the lines look a little softer and a little more diffused, which is what I'm trying to do. I want her eye makeup to be nice, pretty, soft, and soft. I have great eye shape. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Next, I'm going to create, I don't really need to create much definition in her, her eye socket because she has such a lovely defined crease already and lots of lid space. So I'm going to take this shade right here. It's called Latte, and it's basically like a real warm kind of saddle peanut buttery color. And I'm taking a soft fluffy brush. This is the MAC 224. And because of her eye shape, I really don't need to lift her crease. She's got a pretty defined crease. So I'm actually going to start this. Uh, lower than I would on myself, someone who doesn't have much of a crease and I'm trying to create a crease that's not there. I'm, I'm going to approach her eye makeup different than I would approach my own. So I'm going to take that color and I'm going to kind of dust it right here on the outer corner. And I am going to take it into the crease, but I'm not really going to take it above the crease. I'm just going to take it right in there so it has this little soft, diffused, blended out look in the crease. And we're just going to go back and forth. Now Geraldine's eyes are hazel, 
there's a there's some green into in them though when you look closely and when the light hits them you can see that green so we're going to kind of play off of that and choose colors that are complementary to green that is going to pull that green out so you can see what that's done that's just created a little bit of a, a little natural definition if you look on this side which we haven't done anything into the crease you can see that the color that we chose is similar to the color of her skin tone just a little bit deeper now do you like to wear shimmer on your eyes uh I haven't since I was a kid. No? No. Uh -uh. Anything with the, even with a little sheen in it? Sure. Yeah. I mean, the copper that I wear has, it has a little sheen. bit, yeah, but yeah. not like frosty. Yeah. Yeah, I think, a, I think a nice like satin texture is really pretty. Nice, yeah. Because it just um, reflects light and looks very soft on the eyes. And I want this application to be real light and sheer so you can see that I'm holding the brush pretty far back on the handle, which is allowing me a lot of range of motion. It's allowing me to really blend and shear this out. If I were holding it up a lot closer, it would be, I wouldn't get a, as soft of an application or it wouldn't be as easy. I'd have to be working a lot harder. Famous flirt. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next we're going to highlight a Geraldine's lid, and I'm going to use this shade by Buxom. It's called Famous Flirt, and it's the softest peach shade, and it has the softest bit of sheen to it. And I'm taking the Sigma E25 blending brush, my view close, and I'm just going to apply this just on her lid in the inner corner. And then the last thing I want to do is add a little bit more depth just on here in the outer corner. And for that, I'm going to go in with this pretty warm kind of reddish um, chocolate color. It's uh, by Makeup Forever, and the shade is M600. I'll show you what this looks like on my hand. It's a matte, and it's brown and neutral, but it has a lot of red to it. So that's going to play with those peaches that we're using on the lid and really help pull the green out in her eyes. And because she has such a large uh, lid space, I'm not gonna go in with a more uh, precision brush like I normally would for this technique. I'm just gonna go in with a um, good size fluffy crease brush. And I'm just kind of pressing it right here on the outer corner. You can see that I'm not really sweeping it over yet. I'm just kind of pressing it to apply the color. I'm gonna go to the other side and do that on the other side. And then I'll go back and blend it all out. How do you get your hair to look like this? Do you curl it? No. No? It's just natural? You have natural curls? Like yeah. This? It used to be a lot curlier, but with each pregnancy it got straight. Sure. Which is fun. Oh, it yeah. must have been really curly because it's still got some good curl. Yeah. It's easy. Did you used to have it really long? When I was a kid. <laughs> oh, yeah. And ironed. <laughs> <laughs> and then when I was living in England when I was about, I don't know, 22 perhaps. Yeah, 22 or 23, I just... Went in and had it all cut off you above did. here. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Just really like, you were done with up. it. I thought, oh, I've forgotten about that. <laughs> <laughs> I guess when it's long, it's weighted down, so it yeah, takes out the curl. All right, and then I'm going to go, and I'm just going to kind of soften that a little bit. So I'm just going to take that crease brush we used earlier, and I didn't add any product to this. I'm just running it over back and forth just to soften everything. So I'm going to use the MAC Fluid Line in the shade Dip Down on Geraldine, and it's a nice kind of rich chocolatey brown. It's pretty dark. It's not as dark as black, but it's pretty dark. And I'm going to use the Sigma E06 Liner Brush, so you can see how small it is. Yeah, tiny. It's a tiny, tiny, tiny little brush. So this helps really control and keep the line nice, clean, and crisp. And I'm going to load the brush up so I have product on both sides of it. And then I'm going to kind of use my hand to clean off any excess. Because I really don't, I want this brush to be loaded with product, but I don't want it to have clumps of product on it. I want to be able to keep a clean line. I'm going to have you close. I love this brush because it really does make this style of eyeliner so easy. Now, because Geraldine has a lot of lid space, I'm going to take this liner all the way to the inner corner. If she had a smaller eye or a hooded eye or didn't have much lid space, I would start about halfway over. But because, again, we can see so much of her lid, I'm going to go ahead and take it all the way over. And then I'm going to pull it up a little bit to give her a little bit of lift to the eye. Okay, and then last I'm going to take this shade right here from the Toasted Palette. It's called Fireside, and it's just a really dark matte kind of purpley brown. And I'm going to um, kind of soften and set that liner.
Now, when you do your mascara, do you ever use a primer on your eyelids? I mean, on your I haven't lashes. For a long time. time. Okay, we're gonna do one today. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, yeah. You know, I forgot about that. Yeah, it'll just give more volume to the lashes. Go ahead and look up. I'm gonna put a little bit of that darker shadow just down here on your lower lash line. And I'm just gonna, so this is the Dior Lash Primer. Okay. And the key with lash primer is you wanna apply the mascara pretty quickly after. You don't wanna allow the primer too much time to dry. For mascara, I'm using the Wander Beauty Unlashed Mascara. This is a volumizing and curling mascara. Now I'm using a different wand, obviously for sanitary reasons, but um, the wand has a bit of a curl to it. So it kind of helps lift the lashes. Go ahead and close. I have a great video on a mascara tip and that is to close your eyes when you apply your mascara. Hmm, I remember that. So that you can get right down to the root of the lashes and coat them and make them real nice and thick. So when you're doing it on yourself, you close your eyes, you place your mascara wand there and just kind of wiggle it. <laughs> and then once you've, got, <laughs> once you've got the lash root coated pretty well, then you can open and fan them out. I'm very trusting. <laughs> yeah, mascara is tough to have applied on you, huh? So it's a long wear lipstick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it dries and sets. Well, what do you think? Yeah, looks good. All right. What do you think of the color? I like I it. I love the color. Yeah, I love it. And then I'm just going to kind of take a sponge and just go over everything. This is just going to absorb any excess makeup. If there's a little too much applied anywhere, it's going to pull it up. Okay. What do you think? I think you look beautiful. I'm thrilled. <laughs> do you like your eyes? Yeah, yeah. I think my eyes are great. Yeah, they look really pretty. Really yeah. great. Hey, Thanks, yeah. darling. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. All right, you guys, and that wraps up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned something. If you picked up any tips or tricks, please let me know in the comment section below. I think you look beautiful. Oh, thanks, Lisa. <laughs> That's lovely. Thank you bye for bye. being on my channel. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> bye, guys.